Well, after two of the highest profile ethical convictions in state history, former State Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver and former Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos will likely go to prison. But now they have both filed for retirement and so will also likely continue to be paid by you. Kimberly Howard has more. Former Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos is headed to federal prison in March, but he'll also be collecting his state pension, which policy analysts have calculated to be more than $95,000 a year for the rest of his life. That's based on his uh, 32 years working in the legislature, nine years working in government elsewhere. And the legislature failing to pass a unified constitutional amendment, which would strip lawmakers convicted of public corruption of their taxpayer-funded pensions. Someone has to make it stop, right? I mean, this is sort of crazy that we're even having this conversation. Nyberg Legislative Director Blair Horner says legislation was passed to do away with the unpopular practice last session. But in classic Albany style, the two houses, while they said they agreed, never passed bills that matched. And so no change occurred. A change did occur in 2011, but it only allowed pensions to be stripped from guilty lawmakers elected after that same year. So the new guys can't get it, the old guys can. Like former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, who was elected in the 1970s and convicted of corruption less than two weeks before Skelos. The 2011 law only applies to about a third of state lawmakers. How can the Assembly and the Senate come together to pass yeah. one yeah. piece of, of legislation here? I believe that will happen this year, no doubt in my mind. Assemblyman John McDonald says the disagreement is on whether pensions should be stripped from all state employees convicted of corruption or just elected officials. So we're trying to focus on really where the public is fed up. And the public is truly fed up with corrupt politicians using their positions for personal gain. Even if the legislature agrees, it'll have to pass the constitutional amendment two years in a row. Only then would the question be posed to voters. I guess in this case that it would be a slam dunk when it went to the voters. Neither Silver nor Skelos has been sentenced, and that's important because when that happens, the U.S. Attorney's Office could then push for a certain amount of restitution, an amount that could be similar to the amount that both disgraced politicians would be receiving from the state pension system.